the addition of Ryan on this ticket by Mitt Romney, to me, basically comes down to, I mean, there's a couple of theories that I've read about this. And it's already becoming clear that the timeline that they told, uh, they've been telling the press, was a lie based upon their inability to get signs up, I guess, for a recent campaign rally. Because um, they supposedly made this pick a couple of weeks ago. There's some who speculate that Romney knew he was going to lose. And I think this was, uh, was it Noam Schreiber in the... Noam Schreiber in uh, New Republic. His speculation is that Team Romney knew they were going to lose. And they wanted to do it in such a way that would reduce the amount of blame that they would take. <laughs> and so instead of turning to some milquetoast Palenti or Portman or... Mitch Daniels, who might be able to help them electorally, arguably, although that's sort of a questionable um, assumption at any time. They did this because they wanted the conservative uh, wing of the party, which they knew would celebrate the pick of, uh, of Paul Ryan, because Paul Ryan is an arch social conservative and is draconian. Forget about deficit reduction. There's no deficit reduction in his plan. He vows to reduce the deficit. That's the deficit reduction. But the numbers that he has doesn't do that. The numbers that he has simply cuts taxes for the rich, cuts Medicare, cuts Social Security, cuts transportation infrastructure payments, cuts food safety payments, cuts everything the government does, of course, except defense, which it increases. No one who has looked at the specifics of the plan says there's any deficit reduction here whatsoever. This is simply how would Ayn Rand, or Ayn Rand rather, <laughs> want to reshape the government prior to her collecting Social Security. And so Romney knew that this, uh, this pick would go over well with conservatives it would finally provide him with some specifics. They have already given up their strategy of attempting to make this a referendum on Obama because Romney is such a horrible candidate and the economy was not as bad as he was hoping it would be. And so by picking Paul Ryan, come November 6th or whenever the election is over, Romney can say it wasn't just it wasn't my fault. We, had a, we went with the full conservative plan. It's just conservative wing of the party couldn't hack it. For me, personally, I think the Romney campaign knew that they were going to lose. I think he knew he was going to lose back when he was still in the primary. When he was fighting Santorum and his, his stump speech was, I promise you that I will be the nominee. Not, I promise you I will be the next president of the United States. It's just, I'm going to get through this process which my daddy could never get through. I added that last part. And I think there was something so toxic for Romney in his taxes. I don't know if it was something illicit, something that would have gotten him in trouble in terms of his tithing with the Mormon church. I don't know if it would have been just once his taxes came out, it would have been clear he was just so greedy over the past 10 years that even though he knew he was running for president, that he was irresponsible, and he would have taken the full blame for this. And now, this impending electoral disaster for him, uh, he'll be able to disperse some of the blame, which is exactly what, frankly, one learns in corporate America more than anything else is how can we fail and not get blamed for it? And you see that take all sorts of, uh, of forms in corporate America. 
I'm uh, lack of vision to run this company in a certain way. I know what I'll do. I'll cut workers. I'll have a short-term gain in our profits. I win because I'm my my compensation is tied towards stock options, which are a function of uh, increasing profits. The board of directors will be fine because they also get their compensation in a similar way. And by the time this thing's in the crapper, we'll be long gone. And that is exactly what Mitt Romney's strategy is. By the time anybody's talking about me, Mitt Romney, again, it'll be all in the context of history books, and no one's going to remember.